the President of India holds various legal powers, which are outlined in the Constitution of India. Here are some of the key legal powers vested in the President. 1. Executive powers. The President is the head of state and exercises executive powers on the advice of the Council of Ministers. These powers include appointing the Prime Minister, other ministers, governors of states, and the Attorney General, among others. The President also presides over the appointments of the judges of the Supreme Court and High Courts. 2. Legislative powers. The President has certain legislative powers. Bills passed by Parliament require the President's assent to become law. The President can also promulgate ordinances when Parliament is not in session, but these ordinances must later be approved by Parliament. 3. Veto power. The President has the power to return a bill, other than a money bill, for reconsideration by Parliament. This power is known as the veto power, and it can be an absolute veto or a suspensive veto. In the case of an absolute veto, the bill cannot become law unless it is passed by Parliament again with or without modifications. In the case of a suspensive veto, the bill can become law if Parliament passes it again, even without any modifications. 4. Diplomatic powers. The President represents India in international affairs. The President accredits ambassadors and other diplomats, receives foreign ambassadors, and concludes treaties and agreements with other countries on behalf of India. However, these treaties and agreements require the advice and consent of the Council of Ministers. 5. Pardoning power. The President has the power to grant pardons, reprieves, respites, or remissions of punishment in certain cases. This power is exercised by the President in consultation with the Council of Ministers. 6. Emergency powers. In times of emergency, the President can exercise special powers. These emergency powers include the power to declare a state of emergency in the country or in a particular state and to take certain extraordinary measures to deal with the emergency situation. It's important to note that while the President holds significant legal powers, most of these powers are exercised on the advice of the Council of Ministers headed by the Prime Minister, and the President acts as a constitutional figurehead representing the unity and integrity of the nation.